Can you believe I'm up and out at eight o'clock in the morning? The wind is absolutely proper bitter. But I've had the chance to come to a site that had a church on it about 150 years ago. And what they did is they took the church and moved it down the valley. So all that's left here now is the remnants of rubbish. So I'm going to try my hardest to find some silver, like always. But if I don't, I'm just glad that I'm out. Yep. So I'll see if I can brave this. I'm going to do it three hours because I've got to get back home. I've got some tickets. He's got to go to the park to see his friends. So I'll see you in a bit with me silver. Do you know what I like best about these sort of places is trying to look at the history and see how it's changed because obviously things have changed. And I found some up there that I think is quite interesting. So I'm going to share it with you anyway. This is where I think the entrance was. Anyway, it looks like an entrance. And if you come down here, we're not 100% sure, but we're 90% sure that this used to be a church here. And what they did is they dug the church up and they moved it along the valley and sent it somewhere else. The first find near the church is a, a bolt thing. It's not a crucifix or anything like that. Yeah, there, bolt thing. Nice signal though. Well, I don't know if there's anything on it yet, because I can't see all it. It does look like there's a little something. A good old button. I like buttons though, livery buttons are nice. So, we'll have to hope there's a picture or something on there, because I love pictures on buttons, but won't be able to tell till I get home. But I'm quite close to a wall, so I'm going to stay here and have a look near this wall. Well, I'm getting massive blobs of lead like this, but I suppose if it was a church up there, you would be getting big massive blobs of lead, wouldn't you? Bigger than house lead. Be all right, weigh that in. I wonder if he's got something on it. It looks like a bit of a pattern. I don't know. I'll have to wash that when I get home. Might turn out to be a big blob of silver. I doubt it though. I think that's just using my imagination a bit too much. Um, but it's it's definitely a big blob of lead anyway, of some sort. Yeah, I'll have to give that a wash and see if it turns out to be anything. Looks like something. My first coin. Well, I think it is. Anyway, can you see how somewhat thin? Very, very thin in there. So, when it's that thin, let's have a little guesty. It can't be a 2p or anything modern. It's too thin for a George III 18 or 6. It is. Don't be a dog tag or something. What is it? I love having a guess before it comes out. It's brilliant, isn't it? Uh, Oh, <laughs> I don't care though, it's round, it's my first coin. Uh, uh, I've got no idea, no idea. I'll clean that up for you in a minute and stick a picture on. If, well, if, uh, yeah, I'll stick a picture on even if there's nothing there. Well, it seems to be another little button. But where there's buttons, there's life, isn't there? Could be a Roman coin, you never know. Let's just have a look. No, it's a button. It's not a Roman <laughs> coin. Bit of a coin in the hole. Um, and it is a penny. But what sort of penny is it? Oh, God, class. I've been out for... I went out. I've not filmed it all. Because sometimes I just like to go out and not film. But I went out for the past three days. I found absolutely nothing apart from that brothel token. Anyway, it's George Fifth Penny. That'll do. Well, this area looks interesting to me. First of all, you've got the stone with the holes in. They probably would have had gate posts in or something. I'm not quite sure. Sorry about the wind. And that leads to this area with the pool down there. I think that would have been like the, the old fashioned washing machine. I think that would have been a washing machine. Because uh, you could have come down here with your washing, couldn't you? Look. And then you've got some nice water there to do your washing in. A couple of stones to like back your towels on. Some that because it's definitely been made. And uh and there's a little old bucket there. I definitely think this is some sort of 
definitely something thing but i think that was a washing machine yeah in the old days it's interesting isn't it when you look around you don't know what's about do you drive past fields and and just next to the roads is all this interesting stuff I'm so cold. It's so bitterly cold. I'm absolutely, my cheeks are hurting. You know when it's that cold that you, you're hurting? It's a little bit, you can get out the wind, it's not too bad, but you can still feel like you're stood in a freezer. Near churches, that's where people took the money, even if they didn't have any. So I'm thinking that if I'm near a church, or some old fell down, definitely some things, there's going to be some it. I'm just going to find it. Come on, Donnie. Now this is a nice signal, it's very clean, it's not too loud, so I don't think it's a can. Uh, and I'm actually thinking it might be another coin, a copper one. So let's see if I'm right. Right, I'm going to dig this hole for everybody that's frozen in and can't get out. I'm going to do it together with you so you feel like, oh god, it's hard doing it with one hand. Uh, come on, be a coin, be a coin. Right, I definitely think it had a coiny noise. Ooh, imagine if I found an half a crown live with you. Just... Right, it's a bit deeper yet then. It's quite a deep one. Come on. Come on, where are you? Come on, let's be having you. Do, 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 do. Oh, my nose is dripping. I'm sorry if I'm sniffing. that then whatever that is oh it's not a coin then it's just a <laughs> bit of rubbish you see realistic digging because that's what uh, most of us dig up into i did think it was a bit of a coin that but never mind i'll dig another one with you in a minute just found a nice little uh, digger down buckle it's only a tiny one that it's quite it's probably still off a horse i'll never find horse buckles but i quite like that one because that's quite a tiny yeah so if i get another one of them i've got a dd I don't know if you can tell how beautiful it is here in this little um, little, little bro brooky area. Listening to the Brooklyn water, <laughs> listening to it babbling along. You know, that's what I call rejuvenation. I could stand, in fact I'm going to stand here in a minute for five minutes, just listening and looking, because it's so pretty. It's like a little fairy, fairy pit. I don't think fairies had money, did they? <laughs> if they did, I think I would have definitely found some. It's beautiful, I'm going to show you. Look how lovely it is. This is that bit that's like from the washing machine area that was further up there. Oh, it's I just thought I'd ask while I'm here, what sort of poo's that? I keep seeing, I keep seeing this poo and it's it's white on the end and the rest of it's like a green, greeny black colour and it's everywhere. Is that a fox poo? It's all over the show but I just don't know why it's white on one end and dark green on the other. Not sure what that bit is. I thought it was a bit of a spoon at first but I just think it's a bit of a pot. I've nearly got a frostbite. I don't think I've ever been this cold in my entire life. But it's worth it because I've just I'll pull it out if you've not seen it yet. I've just saw it a circle. Yep, it's another kind of cat, tell what it is. I'm too cold, seriously, to be able to try and wash it now. But I'll put a picture of it, but it's just the wrong colour. I don't know what it is, quite thin again. I think it's probably an early charge of third, but I'll tell you in a bit, I'll wash it. Ooh. Well, that's not special, is it? <laughs> Big old nut. Look, that's what I love about it, these sort of places. You can look at the stones and try and work out where things were and it's great. You can't really do that in a field, you can look for paths but up here with these stones and things you can, you can imagine all sorts of things and I do, I've got the best imagination ever. So I've come up behind this wall here because it's right next to the road but I needed to get out of that wind before I got a frostbite. Anyway I thought it would just be full of coke cans and people throwing them over the wall but I found this. Now, is it a button or is it a coin? I've left the back so we can do it together. <laughs> See how I think about you? 
You ready? It's going to be a button in it, yeah, I can feel it already. Yeah, Billy Button. But, I'm surprised actually that I found a button here. So if there's a button, there's going to be a coin. So I've got an hour left. I don't know if I'll make an hour because I'm absolutely frozen solid. And you know what? I didn't bring a brew with me today. Of all the days that I needed a brew, I've not brought one. That's because what happens when you get up early. Well, that's it for today. I've had such a good day. Really have. I've been absolutely freezing. I've got to say, this might be one of the most freezing days I've ever had in my entire life. It's so worth. It's all worth coming out. And standing near that babbling brook is better than lying in bed for me. That's how I relax and recharge. Um, so I stood near the babbling brook for five minutes and, and now I feel better. So, till next time then. Diggity dig 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 like so we find some silver. Because I want some silver, yeah.